Good evening and welcome back to Star Wars Pinball VR. So the last time I was in this one I showed off just sort of in general what it's capable of doing uh, but this time I wanted to go into a little bit more detail and specifically I want to try and get a, kind of get a grip of the arcade mode. Now I've tried it a couple of times and I've never really been able to truly figure out how to use the right. power. So we're going to go with arcade mode. This is when you get the, the powers. So um, you don't have enough. Uh, so, okay, yeah, well, that's fine. So I I think that means that's the one we're going to have, right? Oh, wait, have I got to activate it? Oh. Maybe this is the problem. So I've got to press X to activate. So now apparently that's activated. So hover over X, that'll activate it. I suppose that makes sense because otherwise I'd have all of these. Right, we're going to check that out. We're not going to use it too often to start with, simply because that wouldn't be fair. Now, there's lots of reasons for liking this table. The first one, of course, is our lovely little baby Yoda right down there. Uh, but I actually really love the table. So, for starters, the, the people that make these VR uh, pinball games, or well, the pinball games in general, like Pinball FX and all that, make lovely tables. They actually make them feel kind of real. Um, without really, without them really being real in that sense, you know, they can still do some fancy things. But I feel like I could go into like an old school arcade and I'd find something like this here. Anyway, let's get going. Mando's going to come on in. What's up, Mando? And we're going to launch this ball. And we we've got B ready for force powers. So let's see if this can help us. We're going to try and build up over here. Oh, okay. So that was the that was a slow motion. Um, that wasn't too bad actually. You know what? That I could see that being useful, especially at the top, like up there. Okay, we've got to try and do better than this though. We've got to try and. Come on. Ah, all right. We've got one more ball, I think, haven't we? Nope. Was that it? That was it. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Let's do this. Right. Okay, let's try and play a little bit more sensibly. So what do we need to be aiming for? We need to be aiming for this one over here. And we need to be aiming for that. Okay, so. Yes, there we go. So this is kind of where it can do fancy stuff. Oh, seriously? We're having a bit of a downer on this one. Let's uh, come on. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's do this. We've got this. That's better. Oh. Uh, let's see if we can try and get it back up there. That's it. Does that mean we've got something? There we go, we got something. Right, we're unlocking something. What are we unlocking? I think this time what we've got to do is take out some people that will go appear here. Yep. Direct condition. Deep pocket. Mando took it. After he got the bounty, Mandalorian arrived on Arbala 7, where a local named Queel helped him find the pirates. But the Mandalorian was preceded. Oh, no. I see you then! Stand down! After it took several hits, it wanted to self-destruct. Do not self-destruct! Cover me! Okay, now we need to try and unlock the next one. Ball locked. Oh, nice. What does that mean? What is that? Ball locked one five? No. Oh, oh, ball saved. Okay. Come on. Be 
easy. Of course, you know, I'm keep hitting that that one thing and I'm never gonna be able to get past it. Okay, I think we've beaten our previous score. The IG unit wanted to disintegrate the little one. The Mandalorian couldn't let that happen. Oh, there we go, ball out. I felt like I was really focused then. <laughs> was that good, Mango? Mando? Impressive? Like it? No? Not what is Total bonus 483, nice. We got 14 million, that's what we've done, that's it. Right, we've still got one more ball to go, so let's try this. Let's try and launch in the Razor Crest again. Yes! And we've lost it. No, we've got saved, nice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go that way. Bullseye. Bullseye. Yeah, we don't seem to be generating much from that bullseye though. Nice. Now that I've got down this force power thing, I am finding it helpful in certain situations. Just a little slowdown every now and then really is beneficial. Not what is expected. Well, there we go. I mean, that's 19 million. Okay, come on. That's got to be a good score. And I've now got a poster frame, The Mandalorian. Lovely. Previous stress, 11 million, now 19 million. Ah, there you go. All right. Well, there we are. I figured it out. We worked it out. We've got to activate the powers before we can actually go here. Who would have thunk it? Right. But it's worth it. We managed to get that done. So, of course, what we've got to do before we uh, before we end all of this is uh, come back out of that, and we have to go put up our poster from Mando. So, where are we going to go? Of course, got lovely little uh, Sabine Wren. Well, I think that's supposed to be Sabine Wren. You know, it does look like one of her helmets. Uh, but I think Mando deserves to go... Ooh. Do we, do we reckon that? I reckon here. So we're going to change that one. And... Where is Mando? Come on, we got a Mando one. There he is. We're going to have him up there. And I noticed we had some more, so... Let's put up some other ones. Who do we want next to Mando? Any good ones that we've not unlocked? Nothing I can see there. So I think we'll go with that one. Galactic Empire next to Mando. I think that, that works well because that kind of reminds me of that scene where there's just all the helmets. And what else are we going to pop up? Uh, we've got one there. Let's uh, let's pop something up there, shall we? Um, let's pop over like there. And let's change this one. Let's have that as a Yoda. Nice. Any other things we want to change? Can we pop anything up here? Have I unlocked... Oh, that's that's more table achievements.